from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica. Chica Chica. Hey, we finally made it through that one. Good. And we are here today at Cortez, Cortez Lake. Lake. The, it's actually a community park. It's not a too terribly far from where we're at. Yep, in a man-made water or something, lake, something. It's a man-made lake and they actually stock fish in it. Yep. Depending on the time of the year, depends on the fish you get stocked. Uh, during the summer, they don't stock the trout, but they do stock the, I think everything else. That's and really cool. supposedly the fish are edible, wouldn't guarantee that. Yeah. So you can see there's water and there's a bridge over there, like London Bridge. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go wander and go to the bridge and cool. I'm excited. I see water. So. <laughs> and you know there's fish in there. <laughs> no matter what. Yep. So it's not really clear water. No, you it's not very see. clear water. <laughs> you can see. That the water is not terribly clear. Yeah. I, I I know it's drinking quality water, but I don't know if I'd want to drink it. Yeah. Definitely don't think I'd want to eat any any of the fish out of here. Yeah. It's a good place to do date. Just date. <laughs> it is. It's kind of a neat little park to come in and just have fun. Oh, the birds. Watch like the, the birds. Feed the birds. Oh, is it a bird? It's a duck. <laughs> That's the type of duck. There's about four or five different oh, kinds of ducks. So cute. They're sleeping and they're resting. Don't disturb them. They might yeah, even the ducks are hot now. They might bite you. I'm trying to scare them. <laughs> yeah, you can see this little aerator in there to keep oxygen and oxygenating the water so that the fish don't uh, suffocate yeah it's a big park though it is they've got a really neat little playground over there yeah they used to have a pool but i don't know if they still have the pool with this the pool was over there by that building and i think they took it out a few years ago One of these days, I'm going to have to come down here with a drone. I'm going to go on the bridge. No, later I will have a picture on that bridge. Cool? Yeah, I'm looking to see if they've got anything that says no drones. I don't see anything on here that says no... Yeah. No remote control boats. But I don't see anything that says no drones. We may have to come down to this park to do a drone shot because uh, along the side of it, there's what they call the ACDC, the Arizona Diversion Canal Channel. That it's a really huge channel that runs next to the Central Arizona Project Canal. I feel like I've been here in Arizona and then, oh, the bird or the fish. Yeah, I'm not even gonna put that one on video. Somebody caught some fish and then just left them there to dry up and die. Yeah, you can still get over to that island, I think. We'll walk over to there. Yeah. <laughs> just love the ducks. While we're on our way over there, we'll start our weekly Chica Chica. Yeah. That, again, this week has been pretty much the same as every other week. During the week, school. Yeah, of course. Like the typical school work. School work, something like that. But you're down to next week, is it? Uh, this week and next week. Uh, next week. Actually, two more weeks. So. Two more weeks. Okay. And you are done with your second to the last class. Yeah. Oh my God. One more after this. 
couldn't believe it, you know. <laughs> it's just those days that, oh my god. Okay, more ducks. Turn around. Yeah, there's a ton of ducks in this park. Wanna turn around? Get the video with the ducks. I'm gonna have a photo box. Somebody likes chasing the ducks. Oh, am I scaring them? Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> Go ahead, you're fine. Oh, they're pretty. So pretty. Oh my god. Somebody also likes photographing the ducks. They're pretty. Living the moment. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a lot more. So this weekend, we actually did manage to go out and do a bunch of stuff. Yes, we went to the Philippine Independence Day celebration in, here in Phoenix at ASU in Thunderbird. ASU West. Oh, ASU West, yes. ASU has several different campuses in the valley. Yep. That particular one was ASU West. That It's over by Thunderbird and 43rd Avenue, which probably won't mean a whole lot to most of the audience but you know hey anybody that happens to be from Phoenix that'll give them a little bit better idea where it's at but there again they probably know where, already know where ASU West is. Yeah. But anybody Arizona's, that wants to look it up. Arizona State University. And they actually had a really neat little program yeah. that they did some tinickling, that they did some cultural dancing. Filipiniana dance. Yeah. That it was a, a really cool thing and uh, Ate Mar Mar Marlene yep. went with us. Yeah. That her husband Paul was up in Prescott for a birthday celebration for his mom. Yeah. That some of his brothers came down so that he he wanted to be up for that. Yeah. And some friends of ours came up from Casa Grande. Uh, Greg and. Difna. Difna. Yeah. Difna. Dip. Dif. Difna. Difna. Yeah. That, yeah, she's got a really difficult name to pronounce. Uh, <laughs> it normally gets pronounced Dipnia, but they don't have an F sound in the Philippines, so it comes out as uh, Dipnia. Dip yep. And it, she's a really neat lady. Uh, but they came up, and it's the first time we'd seen them in Trust, three, three years. years yeah. yeah, it'd been a while that our lives were just kind of conflicting, busy, busy schedules. <laughs> it's normally me. But. Uh, and today we went to our Philippine church. Yeah, actually after yesterday, uh, we went actually for lunch. Oh yeah, that the, uh, Other everybody went out to Casa Filipina for lunch. Yep. And there was another couple that joined us, John and Karen, that you've seen of them in a few of our videos. Yep. And we had a really cool time for uh, food and fellowship. Agreed, yeah. And then Marlene shared a malungai tree with Different. seedling trees with Dipnia yeah, that they took home and got to plant in their garden yeah so everybody was kind of cool on that one but uh and then we came home and my son came over and we have a live stream yesterday yeah that's right we did a live stream yesterday that went over really well definitely appreciate everybody that showed up on that one that, that was a huge thing for us yeah that we're going to start trying to do these once a month on yeah. the second Saturday of the month. That's true. Next month will be the Saturday before I leave. Yeah. And then August will be from Min or from uh, Sabonga. Yeah. And make sure to log in your cell phone and just do a YouTube. You think you could do that live in the cell phone? We could explore. We'll figure it out. Yeah. And... Yeah, that one may be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll figure it out. Yep, definitely. And today we went to the church, Philippine church. Which is actually a really cool thing. It's uh, Jesus is Lord Church. Yes. And it was started in the Philippines and yeah. has branched out to, they've got small ministry type meeting halls yeah. all over. That they've got one, uh, two here in the valley that the one we're going to just opened on my birthday. Yes, and they actually open to like 60 other countries. Yeah, they're all over the world, so it's actually a really cool thing. Yeah, and I, I feel like I heard that church before, I just didn't realize because it's, you know, it's 
Yeah, I didn't know there are Christian, born again Christian, until I came here. Well, Pastor said that they're that they're very big in the Philippines as well. That there's oh, a yeah. lot of them in the Philippines. They you are. may have heard of them. Yeah, they are. I feel like every CP or brown guy have that church. Very cool. Yeah. But that actually catches up with everything that happened with us this week. Yeah, I'm on my uh, second. I'll, I have two more weeks for the second class before I graduate and yes it's like oh thanks God <laughs> you don't imagine like how one class in two weeks how yeah and or one class plus two weeks yeah it's amazing it's, yeah that uh, well after you finish this two weeks they have a uh, six weeks you're gonna off. you're gonna have six weeks off you're gonna have an entire class off yeah and then come back after you come back in August start and finish at the end of uh at the beginning of october and then graduate yeah i definitely like my intention before was just to finish the class before i leave but i really realize that it's really intense and yeah it... well that and when you finished your last class this one didn't start for two or three weeks yeah that's why it's supposed to finish on before i went to the philippines but this time this the last subject will start um after this supposedly and I don't know if that subject open and I need to wait, wait another two weeks which I don't know if I can go class when I go in the Philippines because of internet issues and I don't want to sacrifice or you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, that would be real hard. So yeah, but definitely in God's timing, yes, I will graduate this October. I'll try my very, very best. <laughs> that will be my last. I'm sure it'll happen. Yes, it is. And I'm on my... And I'm proud of myself and I'm grateful to God and to you for everything. It mean a lot to me, you know, like the sacrifices, the time that I put in it, the hard working and everything. Well, it is something that, that we both worked with. You did all the hard work and I just did all the adjusting. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely so. But, oh, we watched last night movies with with Buddy, yeah. Buddy, with my stepson. So. Yeah, we're watching the How to Train Your Dragon series. That he's real big into the anime and that. I like anime too, but not like all. Well, I may have, I could count in my fingers like, the name of the animes that I like. <laughs> so, yeah, it's cool. But that would be it. So, my boo hi. <laughs>